very good morning and it is morning it's dark outside but I'm still in the workshop and I heard this strange dripping noise and for a new building that's not good and I looked over and saw my shelves and it was underneath my smoke machine long story short the smoke machine was leaking fluid and I thought right okay well that's not right there's not a lot in a smoke machine. Let's have a look and see what's wrong with it. So here we are. I've actually done the repair. Um, I wasn't going to film this because it, it really isn't much of a repair at all. But I thought you might like to see the inside of, you know, the smoke machine. Uh, this is one of Chauvet's smallest ones. They're made in Taiwan, even though it says PRC on the lid, for an American company. To British voltages. Yeah, <laughs> it's a right mishmash, isn't it? The fault was that there was a pinhole in this silicon tube. And what that was doing, that actually, when I unstick it from the bench, that sits there, that goes in there, that sucks the fluid up. And what was happening was capillary action being what it is, the tube was siphoning the fluid and dripping it into the case. Now, once it got to the case and got to a certain level, it ran out of the case and then dripped everywhere. Yeah, I wondered why I'd use so much smoke fluid in uh, so little time. I just chopped you know, a quarter of an inch of tube off and that got rid of the hole. When the power switch was fitted, the mains terminal, which I'm just having a look to see if you can see it on this camera here. Yeah, it's underneath here, but there's here's the earth wire. Here's the um, ground of the... The, the control cable this when it was put in had obviously been put in with tools because it's quite well seated and they pinched the edge of this silicon tube no big deal nothing major to worry about it it's it just one of those things it happens so what I did I snipped the length there you know as I say quarter of an inch of tube off and refitted it and I've pushed that live terminal down so that it doesn't come anywhere near this tube anymore. So that when this goes back in and like that, there's nothing for it to rub against, nothing for it to sit on. So what are the insides of a smoke machine? Well, they're incredibly simple. This is the control wire. Now I have cut it off and that's that's been done for a reason. Basically, I'm going to extend this cable because... I think it's what seven meters is just not enough so I'm going to replace you know put a plug on there put a plug on the other end and then I can fit uh, an extension lead in the middle and still be usable on here you have uh, a supply to your switch here this this fires up the pump and you also have a, another connection for the ready LED so that when when the temperature here is up to spec, it fires up the green LED, says, yes, you can push the button. So you push the button and the pump works. And then it puts a water-based smoke solution through this copper pipe here into this heating element. Now, the heat is sensed by this little uh, thermal switch here. And when it when this block gets hot enough, it switches on the pump, pump fires it through. It very, very simple indeed. The only thing with these smaller machines is as you pump the fluid through, it cools this down. When this gets too cold to atomize the liquid, this then switches off and prevents you pushing the button to let more smoke through until this has reached temperature again. It's it's very simple circuit. So that's all there is in a smoke machine. And uh, there's not a lot else I can say, really, except hope you enjoyed this little snippet of video. And, yeah, come back and see something else very soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.